Hello again, this is going to be the Prussia Riprap build part 9, installing the X carriage. But before we do that, um, I'm going to flip this on its side and screw on these stepper motors first. And then I'll be gluing the X carriage with the epoxy here. And then I'll be installing uh, the next uh, stepper motor with uh, M3 screws over here. And then putting on uh, the last gear for the stepper motors. And there's the. I already put the. M3 screw with a M3 nut there to tighten down. All right. All right. As you can see here not all the holes line up perfectly with the bottom of the plastic pieces so I'm gonna have to go in with an exacto and cut them out a little bit so I can get the nuts in the, or the screws in there Alright, so my X carriage is now glued on and the the top motors are all screwed in and what I was trying to do originally was just take an X-Acto and then uh, make these holes bigger so I could actually put the M3 nut or screws in there but uh, that wasn't working because uh, all this was in the way so I just uh, took took the clamp out pushed this the this all the way down and then took out the motors and then uh, cut from the top down it was a lot easier and now everything is super secure I just put installed this pulley so now we'll be we'll be Connecting the timing belt onto the carriage next. So I'm going to be using four number six uh, three quarter inch long screws with a washer and our plastic piece to hold on the belt, and then the X carriage and another. Actually, no washer because there's on the bottom of this uh, the X carriage. There's a slot for a uh, nut. And I'm gonna try to use a uh, lock nut, but I don't know if that'll work. If I can't get that to work, I'll just use a regular number six nut in there. 
and then I already cut my timing belt so then I'll just be tightening that down as tightly as I can Alright, now this is done and it's really tight. I think it might be too tight, but we'll see. Uh, next we'll be uh, building a Wade's extruder. Thanks.